Hey scrappers and refiners and recyclers and all you folks, um, Moose here again, and this video um, has been long coming. Um, this is kind of um, a shout out to Mary Theodosis and Bonnie Egan, uh, with a thanks to Ned Landry. Um, those are all three subscribers of mine. Uh, if it wasn't for Ned Landry, I would have never have known about finding silver in electronics. So got this little thing of silver here that we're going to process. Now silver, the way I process it, it's not the best way, it's not the fastest way, but it's an easy way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take these and put them in a beaker with um, used AP. So I've got two beakers here. I've got one that's already been sitting for a week and this one that we're going to I'm going to show you just what I do. Um, so let's take a look. All right, so just a quick note, the best way to process silver contacts is going to be using nitric acid. It's just so much faster. I just don't use this stuff. So this is how I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, this process, nitric acid, you'll have it done in less than an hour. This will take about a week. So there, there's a huge difference. So in this beaker, I've got uh, some silver contacts that have been sitting there for about a week. All right. And before I stuck them in there, they looked like this. So that's what it all looks like, you know, before I throw it in. So there's still, you know, big chunks of copper and brass and stuff on there. But the nice thing is that, all right, sorry about that. I just broke the, um, the stabilizing bolt on my tripod, so I'm gonna have to hand hold it for now. So um, yeah, so let's let's take a look here. All right, so <coughs> again, all I've done is I've just put the um, the silver plated contacts or the silver contacts in there. Um, and I'm just going to use my AP that I just used from the air bubbler. The only thing you have to remember is that it takes one gallon to dissolve two pounds of base metal. So um, if you're going to throw in a whole bunch of uh, silver contacts, make sure you weigh them. Um, with the amount that I threw in there, there should be enough hydrochloric to eat it up. And you can see the reaction's already started, those little bubbles in the corner. So that should be done pretty quickly. Alright, so let's take a let's take a look at what they look at when they're done. Alright, so the ones in this beaker have been in there for about a week. Alright, and that's what we're left with. So you can see all the little, um, all the little bits of copper and brass that were stuck to them have come off. And what you're left with is silver. So sometimes you might see you know, a little bit of remaining copper stuck on them, that's fine. Just throw it back in the AP. Uh, but for the most part, that's, that's how I recover silver. Um, from electronics and from the silver contacts. Now those at this point, you know, they're, they're not 0.99 fine. Uh, that you would need to, you know, dissolve them in nitric acid and then precipitate. But they are still pretty pure. Um, so you can still melt them down, make an ingot, and test it. You know, probably be around 80% for the most part. And that's about it. Alrighty, so that is uh, recovering silver from silver contacts. And um, the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you how to pull them off. I mean, it's really easy. I've been getting a lot of requests on, uh, on showing people how to pull them off. And you, you just cut off as much as you can or pull it off if you can. I mean, it's really not an exact science or anything. Um, but I'll, I'll pull some off for you and show you. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.